Today I'm going to show you how to make a book with a cover and pages on the inside. You will need a pencil, scissors, a clip, hole punch, or the big hole punch, and papers. So the first thing to do, grab a couple pages. I have three here, this will turn into six. This will be my cover. When I fold my book, I'm gonna start by folding the cover. And when I make a fold of paper, I'm gonna line it up so the edges and corners meet, hold it with one hand, and then fold with the other. Whenever I make a fold of paper, I'm always going to go back over it a couple more times. It's also good to remember your hands and workspace should be clean. So if you need to wash and dry your hands first, and if you need to wipe your space and put some things away, that would be a good idea so your book doesn't get dirty or wet. Now I'm gonna make my pages. So I have all three of my pages. If you need help with this stacking like this, let Mrs. Hayes know, I can help you with that. Then again, I'm gonna line up my corners and edges, hold it with one hand, and fold with the other. Now my pages will fit inside my cover. If you are using a different kind of paper, different size, you might have to cut them so that they fit. So if I were you, I would again fold your cover first. Then fold your pages next. Then you can put them inside your book. If I want my lines to go across this way, then I'm gonna have to pay attention to the way that I fold. But for this book, I don't mind. I like the lines going up and down. So then I line it up, and this is where I'm gonna use my pencil, and I'm going to draw where I need to trim those pages. If this is too thick, you might have to take some of your pages out when you trim. You can also ask Mrs. Hayes and she can help you and she can use the paper cutter. So now I have two booklets ready to go. And the next thing I will need to do is punch my holes. If you're using the hand hole punch, that will work for a few sheets of paper. This won't work for more than probably five pieces of paper. So I'm gonna clip it. And there's this little metal flap so I'm going to slide my paper between that metal flap and the base. This will keep your hole punch from getting stuck. Two hands to punch. Two hands to punch. And I made sure that my pages were all the way at the bottom here. I'm gonna leave the clip on. Now I'm gonna cut some string. When we cut string, we're going to pull out the amount of string that we need, and we're going to cut down here so that there's a tail hanging down. That way the next person can find the color that they want. Then I'm going to use my pencil and I'm going to poke this string through the hole. I poke that through and then on the other side I grab the string. I'm gonna make this kind of fancy and I'm gonna tie it across the back so I just looped it underneath my clip and I'm going to poke that through with my pencil on the other side. I'm going to grab that. Now I can remove my clothespin. This gets returned where it came from. And now I'm going to tie a knot. So to make a knot, I start with an X, the one that's on top. I'm going to reach through and grab it, pull it tight. You can get someone at your table to hold their finger here so you can make your next knot. So again, I make an X, the one that's on top. I'm gonna to twist it around and through that opening, pull it tight. And then I'm gonna cut my extra string off. And I now have a booklet. You can fold this edge back you can draw on the inside, write on the inside, decorate your cover. If you wanna cut things out and glue and do collage, you could do that. You could use markers to write, but now you have a blank book. If you're planning on using a few more pages, 
This hole punch is very handy. You will not need to clip it, but you will want to make sure your pages are where you want them to be. And then we're going to slide it in on this side. If this silver thing needs to be moved, it can slide up and down. And I'm gonna look to see that my paper is all the way against the back here. So I'm pushing that in. And the holes will be where these two black tabs are. And then I'm gonna use my hand, I might have to use two hands for this, and I'm gonna push down. Now I have two holes and I will need to use my clip to hold it while I tie the string through those holes. If this gets stuck, or if anything happens to this, you need to come find Mrs. Hayes right away so that she can help you fix it. So again, we don't wanna do more than 10 pages in this. You can do 10 pages and then punch another 10 pages and then put them together. But it will get stuck and broken if you put too many papers in this punch. This is for paper only, paper only.